Hi everyone, it's the English Summer here and welcome back to my channel and another video that is brought to you through the EA Game Changers program. So as you will all know if you watched my last few videos, I was provided with an early access copy of Snowy Escape for The Sims 4, the brand new expansion pack. And this is my Create Sim overview. It's gonna be a little bit different because once again, I have this in my bedroom from home. This is basically a virtual Sims camp. So instead of just running through everything really quickly, we're actually gonna take a look at a lot of the Create a Sim items that come with this pack, talk through them, how I feel about them. I will point out this is very early access so if there are any unfinished assets or any like major clipping or anything like that I have already reported that to the Sims 4 team and I'm sure that those issues will hopefully be fixed before the release so just keep that in mind but let's get into create a sim and see everything that comes with this pack. So first off we have the extreme sports enthusiast. This sim wants to explore Mount Komarebi's wilderness and participate in extreme snow sports. So this includes climbing, skiing, and snowboarding. And then we also have a brand new aspiration for location. This basically resembles a lot of the location-based ones. It basically has things that you can do and makes you get the most out of your time in Mount Komarebi. It is practically a walkthrough of the pack. So this sim wants to explore Mount Komarebi's culture and experience everything it has to offer. And then we also have two new traits. So one of them is under lifestyle and we finally have an adventurous trait for the Sims 4. This feels like a long time coming. So these sims seek out new and unique experiences and then also under social there is proper. These sims tend to disapprove of other sims improper behavior such as mean or mischievous socials but find themselves happier in formal outfits and have a much easier time with friendly and romantic socials. Then moving on to the actual creator sim assets so we're gonna do the feminine framed sims first. So we have 13 new hairs, three new hats, two new head accessories, four styled outfits, 11 tops, six bottoms, 11 full body outfits, two accessories and nine shoes. So this is the first hairstyle. It's the cute little bun with bangs. I mean, very plain Jane, but I do like it. This one I kind of have feelings about. I do think it sits a little strange on your Sims. You can see that there is a clear gap here. I mean, not so much on the darker version, but like on the lighter ones, you can definitely see that there's a gap between like where the Sims chest is and the hair. I think that's so it doesn't clip as much into the heavier clothing because obviously this is a snowy expansion. This hairstyle I love. It's a really like chunky braid and as you can see some of the swatches are a little bit mixed up like I said this is early early access so there are a few hiccups here or there I just think this looks adorable this hairstyle with obviously the clips that we have seen in the trailer I really like this one it works pretty much like any other hairstyle that has an accessory on it you can't choose the accessory color then we have this bun sort of a bun. It's got this twist. I really like it. I think this is something different and I love the style of it. And then these hair clips with flowers on. I just think it's really cute. We have these plaits, which I love. I can see so many custom content creators using this fringe as like a base for their hairs. I actually think this hair looks like custom content. Um, I will say the parting is super defined. I don't know how I feel about that. Then we have this kind of curled in style. This kind of reminds me of hairs we already have in the game, although I do like how it's brushed behind the ears. Usually hairs like this cover Sims ears, but I like how that one actually shows it off. Then we have this cropped long bob. Really big fan of this. And there is also a two-tone variant of it, which I think 
maybe one of my new favorite hairstyles. I love literally all of the colors in this pack. That's one thing I will say. It feels like kind of retro with a lot of the color swatches that they have decided to use. I just realized I was recording without my face cam and I was totally meant to have my face come on in this video. But as I was saying, a lot of ski wear and snow wear does have like that retro vibe to it and you can kind of see that in the hairstyles as well as the actual clothing and assets of this pack again we have the long haired like curled variant i will say a lot of them do seem quite staticky but again i think it's because if we have bigger clothes on like for example we put this jacket on it sits nicely you wear a slightly thinner outfit and it looks a little bit strange so technically we get 13 hairstyles but a lot of them are just recolors eight without recolors and then five with recolors but i'm actually not mad at that like i like how they're giving us options for both and i like how they're not all clumped together because sometimes you don't want to go this crazy on the hairstyle and sometimes you do so i'm glad that they're sort of giving us the option to mix and match i think this is hands down my favorite there is one specific swatch this reminds me of the get famous hair like the one that is just straight i think it's this one i just love it i think it looks Looks like a sweet. What sweet does this remind me of? I think it's made by Swizzles. Then we get three hats. Nothing too interesting on the hats. I do like the ski goggles and beanie. Um, and then we also get obviously a little climbing hat or a skiing hat, snowboarding. You are meant to wear helmets. I, why am I calling it a hat? That is most definitely a helmet. And then we also have a variant of that that also has this like cap on underneath. Stickers on the helmet and goggles as well then for the feminine frame sins we get some new earrings which actually kind of look like they belonged in nifty knitting and then these new glasses which i love these glasses these are going to be used a lot i think they fit really well on the sims face and their features onto the tops we obviously have a lot of winter themed items <laughs> like it wouldn't be a snowy escapes pack if we didn't so you don't need seasons for this pack to work however i feel like if you do have seasons this jacket is one of my favorite pieces we may have ever got in the sims 4 i absolutely adore this jacket the slouchiness also the top underneath i sort of wish we got this top on its own as well because i feel like we don't have many tops like that but yeah you don't have to have seasons for this to work however if you do have seasons and you've already like paid for it in the past i feel like you're gonna get way more use out of a lot of the creator sim items because i can't really see you using this outside of this expansion pack if you don't have snow in other worlds that's not to say that you might never use it but if you're in permanent sunshine i can't just see you getting as much use out of it then we have this like cable knit jumper with ties on the back this actually goes with a skirt to make a full body which is quite nice there we go so it's it makes a full body if you want it to be a full body but it's actually a skirt and a jumper then we have this little puffer jacket which again i think the clothing is cool a lot of this you could get away with even if you don't have seasons i love the color combinations like i said the retro palette that they've sort of pulled out for this pack i said i was over cozy clothing i feel like we've had it so much recently i'll say it again i feel like every single pack we've had since realm of magic basically has had a cozy vibe to it whereas this is a little bit different like yes it is still cozy and warm and quite like big stuff but it's also got a sick color palette i'm gonna keep throwing it out there and it's also more of like that snowy look which i knew i was gonna be a fan of because i've said it before but i'm super into oh. snow and ski wear like i have surfed i've grown up around like surf brands and usually when surf brands aren't doing surf stuff in the summer they're doing ski and snow wear in the winter so i've grown up wearing this kind of stuff then moving on to the trousers we get six bottoms 
I mean, these are just kind of what you come to expect with this sort of theme. A lot of them are baggy, look like you could climb a mountain in them if you wanted to. I do like these trousers though. I think these, I wish that there was a suit. I feel like these trousers could go really well with a, these kind of remind me of something from like luxury party, but they fit better. Then obviously we have the long skirt that matches the jumper. I like this. I mean, again, it looks like something that we got recently in either Tiny Living or Nifty Knitting. Some more snow trousers. These are obviously all quite baggy to fit over boots. Let me remove her boots, actually. We have some more climbing gear that you would expect to see using up a mountain. Obviously, my little gay loves the carabiner over here. I've actually, I have one of these on a bottle, but it was sold to me. I've never actually gone out of my way to personally buy one. Oh, just look at this. Oh my God, the 70s and 80s is screaming. It wants its clothes back, but also no, cause I love it. I just wish that there was like some jeans with like these patterns on. And then for full body, I think this is my favorite full body piece for feminine Sims. I think it's so nice. I love this color swatch of it with like the, the beetle juice trousers then we have a lot of like climbing gear and snowsuits as you can probably expect i do like the layers though i'm a big fan of the layers this actually this also may be one of my favorites i love the vibe of this one it's so cute like this little llama suit and it reminds me of like Barbie. This one is gorgeous. I'm kind of sad that this is a full body outfit. I can see why it is, but also I love it. Like the detailing on the bow, oh, it's beautiful. It's so good. Then we have this. I don't really know why this is included. Then we have the, I forgot his name, but the mascot. Then we do have some kimonos. We have some plain swatches. We have some patterned swatches. School uniforms, fun little fact, your kids will automatically get changed into school uniforms if you live in this world, which is super duper cute. I love this outfit. I know a lot of people have been wanting more modest clothing in The Sims 4 and this definitely fits. And then we have another kimono down here. Again, we have some patterned ones and also some more plain swatches. And then for accessories, let me take this off her. We have an activity watch, which is massive. I'm never ever gonna use this. It's so oversized. And then obviously some new gloves. It wouldn't be a skiing, snowboarding pack with out. So we have these boots with the fur at the top. Then we have these trainers, which are nothing special. Kind of look like the trainers we got in Discover University. Some snow boots for the whole fam. Again, really cool colors on the snow boots. Really go with a lot of the outfits that we have seen. Some climbing shoes. We have some flip-flop sandals. I don't know what you would class these as. They're like wooden. I'm sure these have a specific name i apologize then we have again some more trainers with like a climbing or a snow grip on them some more boots obviously just super cozy comfy and also look like ski boots or snowboarding gear and then some slippers as well because you can actually set house rules for your sims to wear slippers in the house for the males we get three new hairs three new hats the glasses, three styled looks, 11 new tops, seven bottoms, eight outfits, eight shoes, and two accessories. So hairstyles, really not as many for the guys as there are for the girls. I mean, I've come to expect that when it comes to The Sims 4, but it's still not the greatest. And this hairstyle, I really don't like. I would have preferred it to be more of a mullet, like, I feel like they went for a mullet, but then this bit is far too long. And I would have preferred like, you know, like a TikTok mullet or something. Whereas this, I just, I don't know what it is about it. I don't like the way it sits on the Sims heads. 
it's just not my favorite hairstyle so technically I will only be using these two I feel like I'm never ever gonna use this hairstyle every sim I've seen around the world with this hairstyle screams like you need a wash to me then we get the same three hats for the masculine frame sims the same glasses let me take those off you sir this top is hands down my favorite but we will get on to that so again we have a lot of chunky stuff for the dudes i think creator sim has like stepped up i feel like ever since discover university seasons was really good then it kind of lulled a little bit but ever since discover university creator sim has been up there for me and this pack does not let me down i really love almost every single asset in this creator sim catalog this hands down one of my favorites for the guys absolutely love the texture on it the different color swatches that are available the patterns there's also three plain variants this one's really nice it's kind of like a quilted jumper material with a shirt on underneath we have this jumper right here with a little bum bag over the shoulder so obviously if you're on the slopes and you want to keep like your wallet on you and stuff you can put it in your little bum bag on the back and then there's also a pattern panel on it which kind of looks like a silky material some more obviously um <laughs> climbing and I i'm i keep wanting to talk about the colors i'll stop this one kind of reminds me of a petri dish though it looks like it's growing bacteria on it in some form or another everything about this creator sim is a win for me i mean some of it i would definitely get use out of in other circumstances however a lot of it i also wouldn't i think the masculine actually is a little bit more diverse and a bit more usable than the feminine stuff which we never usually get usually like the feminine stuff is way more accessible and you could use it in different circumstances whereas this time around I feel like the masculine sims have a better choice of variety. We have these jeans, which I love. They look like custom content. I have so many jeans like this. Also the fact that they come in a light wash denim. Yes, please and thank you. Then we have these like, again, jeans with like big pockets in the sides. Ooh, I hadn't seen these swatches of them. Sick. I would wear those trousers IRL. Then we have more snow ones. There are a lot of matching swatches as well, which is nice. So again, even if they're not full body outfits, you can mix and match. Then we have some climbing shorts. There is sunshine in this world. However, when you're doing climbing, you tend to be towards the mountain and the snowy area of the world. So I don't know how many times your sim is going to feel comfortable wearing shorts or cropped pants but i guess if you're climbing you're working up a sweat this is incredible i love this little ski snowsuit i think this is sick the team did so good on this this is my favorite asset for the masculine frame sims i absolutely love it e everything about it everything from the jeans to the the way the top fits to the turtleneck underneath very again like 80s and 90s inspired outfit looks like the one that i loved in discover university we obviously have the serving outfit and then we have this kimono then we have this suit with no collar kind of like a, a granddad collar we have this kimono which has a bit more of a layering to it and then finally we have this full body snowsuit which is sick and the gloves and then for shoes we get these ski boots we get the same trainers these might not be the same i think they are though so yeah the trainers the same boots a lot of snow boots again all in the same swatches so it's nice to see that they haven't done like a feminine and masculine color swatches they've just kind of given it to everyone moving on to the kids 
both of their new traits are available for the kids and they're carrying on the theme of having all the hairstyles available to the kids that they have for the adults so the girls get the same eight hairstyles they don't get the color options but they do have all the same hairstyles as the older adults we have this is this a rabbit i didn't want to say that it was a rabbit or a llama because honestly i can't tell this is like the blue and gold dress all over again rabbit or llama what do you see it is huge though it also reminds me of louise from bob's burgers which i'm not mad about and then they also get a little ski and snowboarding helmet or if they want to use it for sledging then they can no new accessories for the kids we get three tops for the little girls so we once again have a little puffer jacket with writing on very very shiny puffer jacket i wish that there was a yellow variant because i had a yellow one of these jackets when i was younger i wore it to lapland when i went to meet father christmas it was great it was a great time <laughs> then we actually have quite a few bits inspired by void critters in this pack which is really cool i like how they're bringing the void critter element in like pokemon i would have definitely worn this as my little tomboy self for sure, thinking I was cool. Then we have this little jacket, which has this mountain variant. And then again, some more of the like 80s color swatches. Then for bottoms, we get some snow trousers over here, which sort of match if you want them to match so that they can be a full body outfit. And then we have, let me remove her tights. We have these little shorts with some leggings underneath. Then we also get some gloves as well. I'll show you the shoes whilst I'm here. So we have these little snow boots. We have these ski and snowboarding boots. We have these ski and snowboarding boots. And then we also have slippers. Cause again, if you want to set that as a house rule, you can. And then we actually get eight full body outfits for the children. So I feel like the kids actually get a fair amount in this pack. A lot more than I'm used to seeing in Create a Sim recently. This dress is one of my faves. I love this little dress. I love how simple it is. It has this like pleated paneling on the back, but I think it is so stinking cute. Obviously, again, we have the school uniform, so your kids can automatically get changed into these when they travel to school in this world if they choose to live there then we have this outfit which is so cute i love the color swatches on this one another snowsuit salopettes is that what they're called i think they are called salopettes the like dungarees that you wear then we have this kimono for the kiddos again comes in some plain swatches some patterned ones this little snowsuit with a hoodie underneath it so you can wrap up even more once again with kind of the Rugrats Barbie influence on the color palette here. This outfit is my fave for the kids. I think this is so cute. The trousers on this, like absolutely this is adorable you can't tell me otherwise then for the masculine boys they actually get a hairstyle that the older sims don't get which is a strange choice to me i don't know why this doesn't exist for the older sims it's just for the kids and then they get the three that the adult males get then we got the same hat then we actually get three tops this one is different so i mean I don't know why this is only tagged as masculine. Uh, it could easily go on your feminine framed kids as well. Then the two same tops that we have seen on the other kid. Then for the bottoms, the same two trousers that we have. And then full body, I'm fairly sure that all of these, oh no, this one is different. I was gonna say, I'm fairly sure that all of these are the same. 
the penguin. I miss him. I love the little turn ups on these jeans. It looks really cute. I was hoping that the penguin would make a return. If you guys remember the penguin from Sims 2 Seasons, he would come and talk to your snow pals that you made on your lot. And I saw someone tweet about him the other day and I was like, I want him to make a comeback in this pack. He unfortunately doesn't, but I wish he did. Then you have the suit again that the adult males have. Maybe that's their version of the school uniform. Then we have the same gloves and also the same shoes for the boys. And then onto the toddlers, because yes, you heard me correctly. Even the toddlers get something in this pack. So... They actually don't get the shaven hairstyle, they just get the one that the kiddos get. Then you have, this is my favourite hairstyle for the boys, definitely. I just think it's so cute. And then, my, I don't know what it is about this hair. Maybe it's meant to look like helmet hair, maybe that's why it's like so like rigid and flat. I feel like it feels like a Sims 4 base game hairstyle and I feel like we've moved so far away from that art style that now it just seems weird like going from that hair to this it just looks like a completely different game <laughs> i don't understand why i have such a hatred but i do this how this toddler is a top heavy is beyond me because this hat is massive on this child <laughs> I feel like this was in the vote for nifty knitting and didn't make it but the sims team like couldn't let it go so they were like we're gonna we're gonna put it in this pack instead. Then we have this little snowsuit which try and tell me that this isn't the cutest thing that you have ever seen. It even has mittens. Hello why don't we have mittens for adult sims? Like I don't really use gloves that much in the game but if we had mittens i would absolutely be all over that i'm gonna take this hat off because it's slightly distracting this little duffel coat is so cute it's adorable then we have oh my god i haven't i've looked at most of the older people's outfits because when i was creating this family i wanted to write down everything that we had so i had a cheeky little look i didn't the little cow oh my god the rainbow one this is so cute the fact that it has its own little backpack on oh my god so stinking cute i can't this is adorable the traditional clothing as well. Oh my god, what a- This is so cute. What a sweetheart. I kind of wish that this was available for adult sims. And we do get two new shoes. So we get these big boots, which look huge on the kiddos. And then we also get some slippers for the toddlers as well. Look how cute those little slippers are. I'm gonna double check on the girlies as well. So they get three of the same hairstyles. So they get this little tucked bun one. They get the little bob and then they also get my little wispy curl one as well. They get the same hat and then they get all the same full body outfits. No new tops, no bottoms no accessories and the same shoes. So the only thing that differs between the toddlers is actually the hair. I wanted to throw this part in the end because as I was actually playing, I did unlock some stuff. You can unlock things from completing excursions or going on excursions. You can also do it by leveling up your snowboarding and skiing skill. Also from the new career. So there's a couple of like snow suits and climbing suits. This one actually isn't available for the masculine frame sims, which I found really weird. But if you just remove the tag on masculine sims, this appears and it actually just fits really well. So little life hack for you all. This suit is obviously like a little bit of a um, crusty office suit. This is unlocked through the career. There's also a masculine variant of that. And then there's also some new like salopettes. pets. You can also buy specific outfits at the festival. So you get access to a kimono 
Diego. You also get access to more salopettes and a jacket. There's also more facial creases, so creases around the mouth. There's a new set of teeth. I think they're coming in the base game update. From what I remember reading from the Sim Gurus, I'm fairly sure they come with the base game update. So there is a little bit there for elders or like grown up adults. And then, like I said, this is the masculine framed, like rusty suit that they can get. Obviously, if they're in the salary person career, they're gonna be working long hours. And it's also like really nice for storytelling if your sim does go out to a bar after work with their co-workers or if they're singing karaoke, they're obviously gonna get a little bit sweaty on the old stage with the stage lights on them. So really nice. And then, like I said, this snowsuit, I don't know why it's not there for the dudes. I don't know why it didn't unlock, but it fits them just as well. So I just put it on him. Also a dude in the trailer was wearing that. So seems weird. Maybe it's just a glitch. Cause like I said, this is an early edition. Once again, a big thank you to EA for providing me with early access to this pack so that I could get all these videos and information out to you guys. So you know if this pack is gonna interest you or not when it comes out. How do I feel about this pack when it comes to create a sim? I actually really like it. I think it fits the theme very well, obviously, because because this is about like being athletic mainly. Um, a lot of the new interactions that you can do are based upon the new skills that we get and being active out on the mountain. I also love the traditional style of it. Again, I would love to see more of an androgynous look. I do think there are some very versatile pieces when it comes to the masculine frame sims that I definitely think feminine frame sims will be able to wear as well. I would have loved a bit more versatility when it comes to the feminine. I feel like the feminine sims got a lot of like snowsuits and like stuff that you can wear if you have seasons and therefore your other worlds are affected by snow. I still think that's where you're gonna get your most use and bang for your book. Just cause it makes more sense based on the style of clothing that is introduced in Snowy Escape. I do like the fact that they see seem to have thought about kids and also toddlers. That traveled through to the gameplay as well, a little bit more than what I'm used to seeing in The Sims 4, so I am very thankful about that. Still disappointed with the lack of masculine hairs. I feel like there's so much more that the team could be doing for masculine frame sims and hairstyles. I just don't think that any of them are hitting the mark right now. The ones that we are getting are nice, but there's just not enough of them. Like, like I feel like there's so much variety out there and they just constantly play it very, very safe. And that's sort of like a opinion that I've had on practically every Sims 4 pack that has ever been released. And I will say, I know I've said forever that I'm over the cozy stuff from Realm of Magic to Discover University to Tiny Living to Nifty Knitting. They were all very much like, indoors or like autumnal stuff. Whereas this feels like winter based stuff. So I'm not mad at that. I would still like to maybe step away from the coziness in future packs cause it's been done repeatedly, but that's enough complaining from me. Let me know how you guys feel about this Create a Sim. I don't think Create a Sim would personally drive me to buy this pack, but I definitely think it makes it more worth it in my opinion because I love the styles and the outfits that come with it. So thank you guys so so much for tuning in and I will speak to you all in my next video. Bye! Oh also tell me what your favourite pieces were. I think mine is the masculine like shirt and polo neck and jeans combination. I just love it and also the really baggy jumper because it reminds me of this and it's super duper sick. I love all the colours man. The colour palette, well done Sims team. Thank you.